Yo guys, what is up? What's going on? They just picked up a new battery for the WRX. It's an Interstate 640 or 690 CCA's battery, which is so much better than the stock 330, I think, that I have. Which if you guys have been following along now, you know I've had some battery troubles this past winter when it got really cold out. But I'm also doing the whole install this weekend. So I went and picked up some spark plugs. These are the Subaru ones and they were $42 each. So that was like $190 for all four. A friend of mine just told me though that Auto Value down the street carries them for like 20 something dollars each. So I'm actually gonna go, after we put the new battery in, drive back there, return the battery, cause that's where I picked it up, and then get like a $20 rebate, and then see if they can get me the same part number of these NGK spark plugs for half the price. Bambina's chilling out down here in the garage. With the garage door open, there's like a breeze coming in and it's so much nicer than uh, like inside because it's so hot out and I don't have air conditioning. So this is the new Interstate battery. Uh, and then this is my old battery, which is kind of covered in oil right now, um, just from doing oil changes over the past two years, but I'm gonna be swapping that out. And the reason I'm doing that is because when we're doing all the big installs this weekend um, and I'm reflashing the ECU with the access port, it's a real risk if your battery dies while you're reflashing. And this battery's died on me a few times. So I literally don't even trust it at all. So that's why I'm putting the new battery in. All right, so I've run into a slight problem. This thing here on the battery, it was okay for the positive side. I could tighten it and get it all the way down. But the negative, this thing here is like in the way and it doesn't fully seat. So it can like literally lift up. As you can kind of see, it's really loose. So I'm gonna try and loosen this one. See if I can turn it and then tighten it. All right, so new batteries in. I basically threw out that like plastic piece that was surrounding it. I honestly don't even know what it's there for. I presume just to give it support or in case it leaks, it's not like it's warm or a heating blanket or anything like that. But this one I had to adjust to get to fit and this one went on pretty easily. Um, I still have to clean things up a bit, but new battery in, this is like 690 cold creek amps, which is so much more powerful than the OEM one. Shouldn't have any problems this winter. My demon eyes are on because the battery reset. I love those, they look so good. Turn these off, go. Now I'm gonna go and return that battery to get a $20 rebate back. And then I'm gonna see if they have this spark plug um, there for cheaper. And then if so, I'll be able to return these to Subaru. Let's go. Good girl. Anytime you change your battery, it like resets everything. So hopefully everything is okay. Oh my God, it started up so quick. It was like one crank. <laughs> Uh, it's so weird whenever you like reset your tune or change your tune uh, The car becomes so unresponsive initially like it just feels very sluggish compared to um, What it did when you had been driving it, you know on the tune for a while So it's like that now, but we're heading to the auto value now to return that battery So the good news is I got $20 refunded back for like returning the old battery here um, the bad news is they don't or they couldn't find that spark plug in in their store So like it's tough to find but this place does sell NGK spark plugs And they told me it was $15 each in their system that spark plug But they just didn't have it and I paid $42 or $41.50 each at Subaru So I'm still gonna try and find them somewhere else and then be able to return the Subaru ones because they were so overpriced and yeah, so tomorrow will be the big install day. New batteries in now. It's running very good on the access port, like in terms of battery voltage. 
14.1, uh, which is so much better. When it died last winter, it dropped down to like five volts, um, which was terrible. So that's it for now, guys. New batteries installed. Tomorrow's the big day for everything else on the car. It's gonna be really sweet. I'm really excited. So stay tuned for that. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you're having a great day or night, whatever it is where you are. One last thing, guys. I have more of the Peking Ninja decals in stock. If you want to head on over to my website, the link is in the description. If you want to support me and the channel, you can pick one up there.